Hello everyone and welcome to Blacks That Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com and in this video we're going to learn the intro and the main riff from the Rolling Stones track Brown Sugar. All the tones you're hearing in this video are coming from the Black Star Silverline Standard which is mic'd up today with a Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser mic. All of those early Stones records were recorded with very little tweed combos turned up very loud. So to simulate this I'm using the 6v6 response on the crunch channel of the amp. Got the EQ dime to the bass middle and treble all up at 10. The resonance and presonance are also set to about 8 and I've got a little bit of reverb on there as well. The gain is set to just below halfway. To also keep in line with that Keith Richards type sound I'm using my Tokai Telecaster today because all of those early Stones records were recorded with a Tele star guitar. So here's the riff we're going to play and then we'll break it down. <laughs> So the version of the riff we're going to learn in this video is a slightly simplified version of the original riff. The original was played in open G tuning and there was a couple of additional strings put in there but I'm playing this in standard tuning today and we're going to focus on this as a simple triad riff. So we're using just a couple of simple chord shapes here. One of the shapes we're using is going to be a bar here across the D, G and B strings. Now it's worth remembering all of this riff is going to take place in this video on those three strings. So we've got a bar here on the D, G, and B strings. This is a major chord. So in this case, that's a G major chord because it comes from this G major bar chord. We're also adding the middle finger on the B string one fret higher and the third finger on the D string two frets higher. This turns it into a six sus four chord. This is something that Keith Richards does a lot where he'll play a major chord and go on and off that six sus four. And the only other triad shape we're using, which we're only going to use once, is down here at the 8th fret. So I'll be barring across the 8th fret and I'll be adding this 10th fret here on the G. This would make it an add 9 triad. So that would come from a D sharp add 9 chord. But we're not going to be playing the full version of that chord, we're just going to be doing the triad version. So the riff itself is basically using the major and the 6 sus 4 shapes. That add nine only comes in once. So we'll be starting the riff up at the 12th fret with the G major, but we're actually starting with that G6 sus4 chord. So I'm playing that and then going off to the G major. Then I'm coming down to the C major triad. Notice I'm playing the C major twice, C6 sus4, back to C. So that's G. C. That happens four times, but the only slight difference is on the fourth repeat, instead of ending back on the C like that, you just end on the C6 sus4. So if we play that four times through, we get this. The next part of the riff is where we go to that add 9 triad, so I'm starting off with this D sharp major, then I'm adding the add 9, playing it twice, then I'm playing it once more and going straight back to the D sharp. Then I'm coming down to the C major and I'm using the same rhythm with the 6 sus4. So that's D sharp. Then I'm coming down to this G sharp major triad here and I'm going on and off the 6 sus4. And then the B flat major with the 6 sus4. Then back to the C. 
I'm hitting that C, going to the six sus four twice and back to the major. So here's the second half of that slowly. So that riff there happens twice before the verse kicks in. So if I now play that section once more at full speed. So now here's the entire riff with both sections played slowly. more all the way through at full speed. So there you go, there is the riff for the Rolling Stones track, Brown Sugar. I hope you've enjoyed learning that one. Let us know down below in the comments how you got on with that riff, and also if there are any other riffs you want to see us break down in these videos, let us know down below. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please head to musicteacher.com and check out the network of great music teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.